PRS, how do you evaluate these two teams right now in the second series of the second half? Cleveland's certainly trying to make that postseason push, either through the division or a wild card spot. And again, it seems rather pessimistic inside Fenway Park at the moment. Yeah, it does seem. And also, when you're taking a look at the Boston Red Sox, who are clearly floundering at this point here, go through the All-Star break, come right out and embarrass themselves, as you said, give me a 40 runs. But it wasn't so much the 40 runs altogether. It was all the errors, all the dumb base running plays mm -hmm. that they made, which is really seeping in, which shows of a time, look, they're professional athletes. I get it. But if Rafael Devers is going to be on the IL, who, long, who knows how long he stays there? Who else is going to help this team out here during that stretch? Who's going to break through and say, you know what, let's get the team together and start playing some good baseball again. It almost feels like the equivalent of this team is quitting on the Boston front office. And at the deadline where you look to get some extra ammunition to help you out in the second half part of the season, I don't think that's coming here. Now, is it a guaranteed sell-off where, you know, the top three or four guys in the organization are gone? I don't think that's going to be the case. But what gives you pause here to say, you know what? I think Boston could come back and make a run into the playoffs in the second half. Absolutely nothing is telling me that, Ben, outside of this all-star break.